gentlemen, I'm Chavis CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's head shave and contest reveal. So, it's going to be kind of a different type of shave that I've done. I don't think I've, I think I've maybe done this once, but basically I'm going to be doing an unboxing. We're going to be shaving with whatever comes in the box. So, uh, there's that. Before we get into that, let's get into the national holiday of the day. Today is National Cereal Day. I love cereal. That cereals out there that are awful for you, very few that are good for you, but... I still like cereal. I like National Cereal Day. Have your favorite cereal today. All right, moving on to the shave of the day in the mail. I got it from, I've seen it in a couple of videos, this uh, Selby. So they sent me this, asked me if I wanted to try it. I said I would. And uh, so here it is. So I've never used it before. It, as you can see, is completely uh, untampered with. I'm going to be opening that and checking it out. As far as the rest of the gear is concerned, we are going to be putting that into our copper bowl, shave bowl right here. This um, captain's choice. I've always liked this this bowl. Blade going in there. The feather stainless steel blade on its umpteenth shave. Those things seem to last forever. I don't even keep track of them anymore. Midnight Collection West Coast Shaving Stainless Steel uh, Safety Razor here. Thing is a beast. I got a despite. The way the camera shows, I do have a ton of growth here. I can feel it. It's driving me nuts. I want it off. So we're going to shave with one of the heavier, uh, more aggressive razors that I have today. QED Select Badger Hair Shave Brush. Load up the blade, get our stuff kind of situated here, and then we'll open the box, and then we'll take a minute and lather it and see what it's all about. So be right back. All right, we're back as we got this uh, box ready to go. The blade is loaded in the... Uh, razor just want to get that taken care of my brush is still soaking but we'll see what is going on with this box uh, boker automatic like this knife all right let's get this thing cut open all right <clears throat> first thing is a personal note dear chad thanks for trying our shaving cream we hope you enjoy it and have a perfect shave the the D Selby shave team, so on and so forth. So that was nice. The I can already get a scent kind of coming out of here. Now I have to admit, I've seen um, this stuff. This is the box that I just pulled out of here. I, I've seen people doing reviews on these, but I have not actually watched any of them. So I have no idea what it is, how it's going to perform. No, I know nothing about it. So anyway, so that's all that's in the box. Um, and this is what came in the box. So we've got this right here. Uh, Dr. S uh, well, actually, I, say, I might even say Dr. Selby. I think it does. I thought I said D. Selby, though I don't have my glasses on. So now that I'm seeing a bigger print, that's a DR. So we'll go with that because, again, I don't know anything about them. That this is from somewhere in Latin America. That's my guess. Based on the description on the back, it looks to me like it's Spanish, uh, from what I can tell. All right, well, let's open this up. All right, so it comes in this fancy shave bowl. So I guess I may not... Well, I, you know what? I'll probably scoop it anyway, so I will still use this. Wow, yeah, this, the scent is very... It's almost European to me, and I'll, I'll get into that in a little bit. So the top looks like it comes right off. Oh, all right, there it is. Like a, almost, the camera doesn't pick this up, but it's almost like a greenish consistency. Wow. I'm getting a lot of powder notes off this. Anyway, uh, I had said European scent to it um, because a lot of soaps that I've smelled that are upper end European based soaps tend to have a similar scent to this I've noticed it's very powdery and sophisticated almost <laughs> incidentally enough it says lavender on it so I don't get lavender off this I get more more barbershop but we'll see maybe when I lather it up it'll smell differently that's funny. The instructions on the back appear to tell you to, to lather right in the bowl. 
Uh, I'm not going to do that. Guitar pick here. And we're going to scoop some of this out. So we'll see what we got about consistency here. <clears throat> That's definitely a hard puck. I, I can just scrape it across the side. So that there's no... If if it's... It's interesting that they called it a cream. I didn't expect it. I expected it to be almost the consistency of, like, Taylor of Old Bond Street. But that's fine. The very... Yeah. This is this is a soap all day long. So that's what I put in there. I have no idea how much. As you can see, this is definitely soap type. But anyway, I have no idea how little or how much I'm going to need. There are some soaps out there you can pretty much get away with using hardly any. But we'll see. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't look like I hardly did anything to it, scooping it out. But... Just gonna press this out, the water on that, let that sit for a few minutes, just to kind of soak it, because it looks pretty dry to me. Um, and that's fine, it happens. That, that's some soaps you need to soak it. Though that makes no difference to me. As far as the, the smell is concerned, there's a hint of lavender, I guess, now that I've scraped it, but for me, I get a lot of, I get a barbershop scent off this. I guess, I, don't, I guess, I, that's, I get powdery notes. Talk about the winner, the what, the what, the winner of Wapiti. So uh, this, this particular shave is not about this soap, so I won't spend too much time on this, but the winner that I have drawn for this uh, through the automatic YouTube picker, I have a screenshot, so if somebody really wants to see it, they can see it. Uh, Eric Lawson, or Larson, Eric, very, very good soap. I'm really excited to get this to you. Reach out to me. Congratulations. Uh, you can email me at murphy.chad.d at gmail.com or DM me. I am on Facebook and Instagram, and we can go from there. Uh, I'll give you a couple of days to, to get back to me. If I don't hear from, you, hear from you, I'll draw another winner, and we'll go from there. I've let this kind of sit in here in the water, and I... I'm really, really eager to get this shave going. So, yeah, how much or how little water this is going to take. So, we're just going to go ahead and lather it up. That's for sure. Yeah, a little bit. All right. So, that's kind of what we got in here. It's not a ton. It's it's definitely taking a while to lather. But that my guess is probably because I didn't have it soaking as much as I usually do or as long as I usually do when it comes to this type of stuff. Because, hey, we're doing it right out of the box. So, all right. Definitely slick. It's holding its peaks quite well. So, as far as density is concerned, looks okay. The scent uh, after it's been lathered, it's actually just less. This is exactly the same as what I said. It's just not nearly as strong. Anyway, so. All right, let's go ahead and put it up on the dome and see how we do here. Okay, as you can see, that's nice and lathered. Seems to lather okay. Don't have any issues there. So wet the uh, the old uh, hair mower here and go from here. Really nice first pass. Let's see what we got for some residual slickness. It just rinse the head a little bit. Yeah, there's definitely a residual slickness which uh, that's there, which is good. Not that I necessarily want to do a shave without a or a pass without a, another application, but it kind of gives me a hint on what the post shave is going to be like if my skin's going to be dry or whatever. And 
I'm hopeful based on the fact that it's got a good amount of residual slickness. Pass three, rock solid, do our uh, final against the grain pass. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with this shave. Dop status, doma perfection, no nicks, cuts, areas of irritation, smooth as glass, perfect. Uh, as far as this soap is concerned, I did have a lot of residual slickness in the beginning, the first couple of passes. Towards the end, it really dried out. I felt like that it, uh, the last, I mean, I obviously I did four passes. That's, a, that's probably one more pass than most people use or do, but I don't really care. It's what works for me. On that fourth pass, it really kind of dried out a little bit, and I can feel it in my skin that it's a little dry. So it's not, the post-shave is not, I don't think is going to be as good as I thought it was going to be. But, you know, the scent was nice. It was pleasant. It's just very light. It doesn't, I don't really get lavender off this. I mean, I get a very, very small hint of it, but the, I get more powdery notes off this than anything else. But it comes in a nice container. Uh, it's plastic, so if you drop it, it does sound kind of... Hopefully it won't break. At least it won't shatter, maybe. Uh, you get the nice little cover that goes on top of it. I do like the fact that it's got these holes in it. So if the soap is still a little wet, you can put that on there, put it away, maybe even pack it, and you don't have to worry about it necessarily being all nasty when you open it up. Not that it'll get too bad, but if you leave it there for a while, even if maybe you think it's dry and it's not quite dry, you throw that on there, it'll keep it from getting dry. That said, I've found that when you leave soaps open, the scent tends to go away uh, after a couple of months. But either way, uh, it was a little bit difficult to lather in the beginning, but I attribute that to not letting it soak long enough. This, to me, is, uh, although I was told was a cream, that just may be their term for it. Yeah, it says it right on the box. This is not a cream. This is a soap all day long, so... That's what I go with this. I think it's a good soap. If somebody came to me and said, hey, I've never wet shaved before. I'm going to use this soap. I'd say, hey, that's a great soap. Hang on to it. Use it. It'll work well. It'll serve you well. But is it top tier? No. It is not Peter Tricalis stuff by any means. And uh, I, But I do think, you know, even 345, it's not up to their standard, standard the, the Peter Tricalis stuff, all, all their, those top tier soaps, it's not there. But, um, but it is good. Is definitely something I would use and I will probably hang on to and will use in the future for days when I don't really want something heavy, heavily scented. I'll go with that. I don't like things that are completely unscented, but light scented is nice. And uh, I'll probably keep it in my rotation for that. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the shave. Thank you very much for joining me for today. It was great. I definitely needed it. We had some things we had to go over. And uh, congratulations, Eric. Make sure you get in touch with me. Again, that's murphy.chad.d at gmail.com. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We'll exchange uh, address. I'll get you an address and we'll ship it right out to you. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. I'm Chad with CD Shaving, and we'll see you guys and girls in the next